Hey everyone, welcome back. So till now we have been looking at uh, how to set up a Cucumber framework and also we have looked at different features of the Cucumber framework. Like we have looked at how to use background steps, how to use scenario outline to uh, run your scenarios multiple times with different sets of data. Right? Um, how you can set up the whole project, how you can publish your reports using the new Cucumber feature. But until now, we have been running um, our tests either from the testng.xml file, right? Running the testng.xml, or we can also run uh, the feature file individually, right? Now, these work fine, right? Uh, when you are working on an isolated environment, right? You run all your tests on your local local machine. But what if you want to uh, run this same script on a different machine, or you want to make uh, you want to integrate this project into a CI/CD pipeline, right? So then uh, this will become a problem, and you need a solution for that, right? You want to uh, run this project from command line, basically, right? So that's that's how you can um, integrate this project with a uh, CI tool like Jenkins, right? There you can pass uh, a command, a command of using the command line plugin of Jenkins, right? So there you can easily then call your project and run your scripts. But um, for that to happen, right? We need to convert this project accordingly. Now there are multiple ways of running Cucumber tests from the command line, but I feel since we are using uh, Maven as a build tool, right? It's best to use the build plugins of Maven, right? Which will help us to uh, automatically run all our tests, okay? So what are what are these build, build plugins, right? So there are basically two build plugins, okay? So first one is the Surefire plugin and the other one is Failsafe plugin. Now, Surefire plugin is basically used to run the unit tests in your project and Failsafe uh, is used to run your integration tests, right? Now, these are called at different, different phases of your build lifecycle in Maven. Okay, so if you want to learn more about Maven and build phases, lifecycle plugins, right? You can head back to my course, uh, the Maven course, where I have talked in detail about all these topics. Okay, but for now, uh, just understand that there are two plugins and we can use either of them. I'm going to show you how you can use that, right? So let's add a build section on our POM file first. Okay, so that will contain all our plugins. So this, this will contain all our plugins. So as I was talking, the first plugin is the Surefire plugin, right? Now, ideally it will search for all the unit tests, right? Like your J unit tests, and it will automatically run it in the test phase. Okay, but if you are working on a test ng project, then you can also mention, uh, mention something like this in the configuration, which is suit XML files, right? And inside that, in suit XML file, you can mention the XML, which is your testng.xml. So basically it will call this testng.xml and then it will run all your tests, right? So this is when you are working with the testng project. If you're working with a J unit project, you don't need it, this configuration. It will automatically pick your J unit tests. Right, so that's what Surefire plugin does. Okay, so um, this plugin will help us to run this project from the command line. Now, to run it from the command line, either you can um, open a command prompt and then go to this project and run the specific Maven commands to execute, or if you're working on IntelliJ IDEA and following me, right, you can also look for this terminal which is embedded in this IntelliJ IDEA ID, right? So you can launch this terminal and here it will automatically take you to this project, right? So now here um, we can run multiple, I mean, different phase or different build phases, uh, right? Or different plugins. So 
one is you can run MVN test and it will run your test, right? You can also go for, if you want to run, run different build phases, then you can also run, type MVN clean verify. Now here, there are two build phases, right? One is the clean and one is verify. So clean will basically um, uh, clean up all your uh, resources of your project, project, right? It will start off fresh, it will build a fresh project. And then uh, in verify, it, it will go through all the different phases like compile, it will compile your code, it will, it will test your code, uh, right? It will run your integration tests. And then finally it will, in verify phase, it will uh, verify whether your um, test which you ran were successful or not, right? So this is, uh, now there are many other build phases, but we'll stick to this, right? So let's go ahead and execute this now, okay? So now you will see it will uh, start building the project. Okay, and then it will compile your source code. It will uh, basically also run the clean plugin. It is now compiling the code. Then it will call the test, which is the Maven Surefire plugin, right? And it will run your test and successfully complete that and publish the reports if you have uh, chosen to do that. Okay, so it's the same uh, test which we uh, looked at in my previous videos. Just logging in into our demo website and then uh, verifying whether it has logged in successfully or not. Okay, so that's what uh, actually there are two iterations. So since we are using the scenario outline and multiple test data, so it will do it once more. And then it will exit the browser and finish the execution, okay. And it will also create this jar, right? So at the end, it will create uh, in the target folder, it will create a project jar, which you can, again, this is your project jar, which you can share across to anyone, right? Or you can install it um, using the MVN install. You can also install it in your local repository. So that's what uh, Maven uh, does, right? It, completes a build cycle for your project and you can also run it from your command line. Now that's one way of doing that, right? As I said, there are two plugins and you can use both in this case, right? So if we take this plugin right now, which is the fail safe plugin, we can run the same thing. Okay, so for now, I'll just comment this. Okay. Okay, let me paste that out and then Okay, so that's that's done. So this is the fail safe plugin, as I was talking about. Now, this here, it's a little different. You need to um, write this executions section and in, inside execution, you need to specify the goals, right? Now there are two goals in this. Uh, one is the integration test, one is verify. Now you can run both, right? Uh, in Maven separately, or you can simply run the verify as we were doing it previously, and it will run both the goals. Okay, integration test with verify. So uh, 
let's head back to our terminal and we can use the same command here again mvn clean verify now as i said earlier if you want to understand these in detail uh, please look at my maven course uh, on my youtube channel where i have explained um, every build phase in details Okay, so it's going to run the same test again before completing the complete build lifecycle using the Maven fail safe plugin. Now, you can use both these plugins, right? If you are kind of working on a project where you have both unit tests as well as integration tests, right? So developers will write unit tests for your project and you will automation testers will write the integration tests, basically Selenium tests or Cucumber tests, right? So you can use both these plugins um, and it will first execute your unit test and then it can execute your integration tests, right? So everything will be covered in one shot. And then obviously, as I said, uh, we can easily integrate this with Jenkins, right? We can just pass the same Maven command there, which will, um, first get the project from the any repository and then it will start building using the maven right so that's it for this video that's what i wanted to show you how you can uh, build your project using maven and then execute it from your command line using a maven command simple command right and in the next videos we'll also look at how you can integrate this with a ci tool like jenkins okay so I hope this video was useful and you liked it. To watch similar videos, just subscribe to my channel, give a script and keep watching more videos on my channel on similar topics or other automation tools. Until then, um, we will meet on the next video where we'll look at some more concepts in Cucumber. Until then, goodbye.